everybody. It's Kara here at the Discovery Center, and I'm here with the amazing Mr. Malcolm. Hello. We're also here with one of our amazing animals. Today we're going to meet Dilly. Hi, Dilly. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's looking at me. So Dilly is a Saharan Euromastic. That's such a cool word. It's such a neat name. Sounds like the name of a band, doesn't it? The Euromastics. But he, that actually means spiny-tailed lizard. And Dilly lives in North Africa, where it gets very, very hot. Now, one of the adaptations that Dilly has to live in that environment is the fact that he doesn't need water. He gets water from the food he eats, so we don't even have to give him much water. Now, sometimes a female or a baby, they will need water more but typically they don't need it. And that's good because there's not a lot of water where Dilly is from. And it's also very, very hot. Now that is also another interesting point about Dilly. He's not nocturnal like a lot of other reptiles. He's diurnal. That means he stays awake during the day. And the reason he does this is also because of the heat. He loves heat and it's hotter during the day. He likes to bask in heat up to 120 degrees. We couldn't even survive that. So he does lots of cool things. One of the other things he does to survive is if he sees a predator or he feels threatened at all, he'll get inside the crevices of rocks. He'll flatten his body down and then he gets in there and he'll puff it back up. So he's wedged in and the predator can't pull him out, except for his tail. He doesn't have to make sure his tail gets in there because he has a very, very spiny tail covered with sharp scales, and a predator couldn't even bite that. It would hurt them too badly. So he has figured out a really smart way to live in one of the most inhospitable areas of the planet, the Saharan Desert in northern Africa. He does that by not needing a lot of water and by being able to hide in the cracks that he can find to keep away from predators. I think Dilly's pretty smart, don't you Mr. Malcolm? I think he's incredibly smart. And he looks pretty fast too. Very fast. I think he probably wants to get back in his enclosure. So yes. we'll put him back. 